practice for the Florida A&M football team came to a close on a beautiful Saturday afternoon with practice number 15, the orange and green spring game inside Bragg Memorial Stadium. A real football game, team split by a player draft held earlier this week. Now, it's a spring game, but still competition high. Defense, although split between two teams, was strong, allowing just one touchdown in regulation. This one settled in triple overtime today, guys, with the green team winning, fitting that QB1 Jeremy Musa scoring that winning touchdown. Now let's talk about quarterbacks. We saw five QBs play today, all getting significant playing time. And to get that experience now, only going to benefit the Rattlers, down the road. With a spring game, that's the closest thing we have to a game situation. So to see how they respond in a two-minute situation, to see how they respond when we're down. Maybe we need to you know, make a smart decision of whether to throw the ball away or try to force something. So uh, the, the three scrimmages we had along with the spring game uh, really gives us the best barometer of how these guys will perform when the lights come on in August. Even for me last year, um, I feel so much more comfortable this time this year just because of all the game reps that I had. The, the more that you can rep the concept versus, you know, each look that you can get, the more conf confident you're going to feel when, you know, you have to recall on that again. So an exciting day on the highest of seven hills. Kyle Logan inside Doe Campbell Stadium for the Garden and Gold Spring Showcase. He'll have more with Florida State coming your way tonight at 11 o'clock. In Tallahassee at Bragg Memorial Stadium, Allison Posey, ABC 27.